In today's rapidly transforming business world, companies that can't keep up with the pace of change and adapt to disruptive innovation often find themselves floundering. It's crazy to think that 88% of the Fortune 500 firms that existed in 1955 are gone. These companies have either gone bankrupt, merged, or still exist but have fallen from the top Fortune 500 companies. So, to learn from the more famous examples of a business failure, here are 10 more companies that failed to innovate. Now, without any further ado, let's get started. I declare bankruptcy! Xerox Xerox was the first to invent one of the first personal PCs, introducing the Xerox Alto, which was ahead of its time. Steve Jobs, founder of Apple, visited Xerox Palo Alto Research Center PARC, and incorporated many of its ideas into the Macintosh in exchange for shares with Apple. Xerox excelled in the copier industry but failed to leverage its innovations into personal computing, limiting its growth when it faced increased competition in the copier industry in the early 1980s. Management thought going digital would be too expensive and was convinced that the future of Xerox was in copy machines. Xerox failed to understand that you can't keep perpetually making money on the same technology, which resulted in a series of layoffs and restructuring efforts. Today, the company successfully transitioned to digital document solutions and managed print services, aiming to provide comprehensive document management solutions to businesses. Nokia Nokia was one of the first to create a cellular network in the world. In the late 1990s and early 2000s, Nokia was the global leader in mobile phones, surpassing Motorola. The company overestimated the strength of its brand and believed it could arrive late to the smartphone race and still win. In 2008, one year after the first iPhone release, Nokia finally decided to compete with Android, but it was too late. Their products weren't competitive enough. Polaroid Founded in 1937, Polaroid was one of America's early high-tech success stories. The company became a hit in 1972 when they introduced the SX70, the camera that superseded the old peel-back Polaroids with a picture that developed as you watched. The company filed for bankruptcy in 2001 due to the digital photography boom. The company leaders continued to believe paper print was what customers wanted. After the bankruptcy, the Polaroid brand was licensed for use on other products such as smartphones, TVs, and portable DVD players. Polaroid has since released an instant film camera to the market in 2020. Pan Am Pan American World Airways was an airline once known as a brand ahead of its time. Pan Am suffered a reputational setback because of tragic accidents and terrorist attacks. Customers lost trust, and Pan Am was associated with being the unsafe choice of airlines. Their innovative ideas couldn't save the company, so in 1991, Pan Am went bankrupt and shut down. Guilford Transportation Industries purchased Pan American World Airways and all related naming rights and intellectual properties, eventually renaming it to Pan Am Railways. This company has since been acquired by CSX Corporation. Pebble Pebble Corporation developed a line of smartwatches. Their campaign on Kickstarter became one of the most funded products of all time. The predictions of wearables booming on the market were falsely tied to the success of smartphones. The smartwatch market was still tiny at the time and not mature enough to sustain the type of predicted growth. In 2016, the company called it quits and sold its technology to Fitbit. Google Glass the product was one of the first large-scale attempts at capitalizing on artificial reality. The buzz around the product was crazy and had so much potential. When the product was launched in 2015, its high price and privacy concerns, combined with a general lack of awareness of consumer needs, never saw the product go mainstream. Enron I believe the only venue for me is the ride of broken dreams. Oh, you mean the Enron ride? 
Let's go. Enron Corporation was an American energy, commodities, and service company once named America's most innovative company by Fortune from 1996 to 2001. That same year, the dot-com bubble burst, and Enron quickly built high-speed broadband telecom networks. This project cost a fortune for the company, with no return on profits. The CEO of that time, Jeffrey Skilling, hid the losses from the company. This eventually led the company filing for bankruptcy after financial accounting practices resulted in accounting and corporate fraud. Even. Ah! Motorola Even though Motorola continues to produce various versions of its cell phone to this day, they failed to see that customers wanted innovation in software rather than hardware. Motorola's new products in the early 2000s lacked market knowledge and weren't enough to grow the business. The products weren't user-friendly, and Motorola missed the movement to 3G. Motorola didn't implement 21st century communication in its products, making it hard to compete with smartphones. Netscape Netscape was one of the most popular internet browsers in the late 90s and was a favorite for Academia in the early days of the internet, when dial-up was the most common way to access the internet. AOL, which we mentioned in a previous video, acquired the company in 1999 valued at $10 billion. Netscape was built with outstanding technological innovation, mixed with great leadership. However, the company lost its battle to Internet Explorer and other competitors after only having 0.06% in the browser market. Nortel Nortel was a multinational telecom and data networking equipment manufacturer that failed big time. Their research and development team had fallen behind, and the business began to decline because of broadband and Volpe. Around the year 2000, Nortel had misstated their financials, which wasn't discovered for several years. That eventually brought them down. In 2009, the company filed for bankruptcy. Well, this brings us to the end of our list today. Let me know in the comments below if you know of any other brands that failed to innovate or if you recognized any of the ones we went over in the video. See you next time.